Here we are guys in Wombat State Forest. Trying to avoid uh, muddy bog holes and car wreckers. Just a few technical washed out tracks for a bit of fun. That's about four foot deep and about five foot wide. I thought we'd have a play around and try and straddle it, but it was never going to happen. So we about backed up a little bit and cut out of it. Bit of fun. Why not? Oh, getting the wheel up. Bit of entertainment for everyone, beautiful. Bit of a car wreck of that. You gotta be careful what you choose to do. Here's a wise man driving. You take the easy way. Beautifully done, look at that. Nicely done. Do a scrape on the little mud flappy, that's all. Bit of a bypass because of the big tree. Slow and steady wins the race. And you keep the vehicle out of the dirty muddy water. Beautifully done. Okay, so we just drive up the we just drove up this you can see our track. But I thought I'd better go and see how these guys are going. Can't hear on the radio anymore. Have a bit of a show you what we've just driven down and up. Lucky it hasn't rained for a few days, but it's been a while since I've been down this track. Quite a few years. You can see it's quite deeply rutted here. So we straddled it coming up like that because this rut here would be too deep if you were to I don't know if he's going to take that line but um, we'll see what happens everyone's different oh, he's not even going to get out of it ah could be a bit of interesting here see what happens though because this is quite deeply rutted Along here, it's that's probably hard. Oh, I know it's hard to tell on the camera, so it's probably about two foot deep. 
So you definitely want to be up there. Nicely done. This way a bit. This way a bit. You're right on the edge. That's it. Beautiful. Keep going. Keep it moving. Just pull up nicely behind me. I'll just get a bit of footage of these guys coming up. So we can entertain everybody. That's the way. Oh, it's getting a bit slippery now. Could be slippery for the fourth guy. <laughs> trouble having trouble keeping that the vehicle in the um yeah you have to get that bite get get out of it further back I'm trying to guide him as well using my fingers you know back further that's it that's it beautifully done Hard to remember that that log's there as well, a little bit. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Look at that one. Nicely done. Look at those KO2s. Beautiful. Just had to get them to bite in at the start there. Okay, let's see what happens here. We're going to try and get out of these ruts here, but I don't know if it's going to work. No, I didn't think so. That was my suspicion. I'm full off to the left. Not happening, so good luck to everyone with that one. Hopefully we can get out of the ruts. This bog hole, it's a little bit deepish in places, but hopefully we're lucky enough that we can, yeah, get out of those ruts there and then what we worked out is if we get our left wheel in this tram track on the left here with a then hopefully the right's not too deep which it's not so that was very nicely done mud equals money and we've avoided it for the most part beautiful He's trying to climb out of those ruts. He hasn't got a lift either. That's a standard height proto. It's got KO2s. He's still chasing a lift though. It'll be coming soon. He's out of the ruts for the main part, so that's the good news. Piece of cake, a potato cake.
All right, this is one of our old favourites. Um, it's quite steep, as you can't normally sort of pick in the video. It is winter, so it could be a bit slippery. So we're being a bit cautious about it. Kind of keen to have a look at it. And always prepared to, oh, yeah, look at it. I'm just looking up there at it now. That traction doesn't look like this track. It's become very, I don't think there's going to be a lot of traction on this at all. Not cool. If we go up to the right, we're going to slip off it. If we're in the ruts, let's have a play with it anyway. But this has got substantially worse again since last time we are here. I can feel a little bit of wheel spin there already. But we'll go up because we can still safely back down. We're in the ruts. We can still let our tyres down a bit more. We're still quite a bit... Uh, Quite, a, quite tractionable there. Right. Spinning the wheel. Okay, did you see the smoke come off that front tire, guys? Look, see it in the camera there, even. Look at that. Okay, we'll put that locker on and hopefully, oh, smell the rubber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're spinning both our fronts now. Yeah, no, not, not on this tire pressure. And looking at the rest of it, I don't even think we want to do this track anymore. This is a dog's breakfast, not in the wet. So, for the first time ever, I think we're going to be wise and give it up. Um, I just don't think it's worth it. Looking at, you know, with my experience, looking at that, how slippery it's going to be, how deep the ruts are, and around the corner it could get worse. So, what I think we'll do is we'll back down, we'll park in a safe place, and go up for a walk and have a look. Alright, so I thought we'll try walking up. So this is where we drove up. A little bit of wheel spin there even. So you've got random loose rocks. And because it's wet, you can't just sort of get up here, you know, the way we used to. We never even had to used to do that. So now here you are, you're gonna be in the ruts, which is all right. They're not that deep. And where were we, guys? A little bit further than this. Uh, I think no, we passed that log. Was it yeah. here because of that burnout mark? Yeah, up there somewhere. Burnout mark. Yeah. Well, and it just gets worse up around there. As it turns out, the Jeep on 35s, he'll be going up, no problems. the spot. It's definitely got worse since last time we were up here. He's probably got front and rear lockers and still scrabbling for traction. It is a good fun track but the problem is and another reason why I prefer to pull the pin is when it's wet and you're spinning your wheels, digging it up, making it a little bit too much fun. It's almost a car wrecker depending on your setup. A little bit rough. Just got to take it slow. Slow and easy wins the race. Piece of cake, eh? Just. Yeah. <laughs> we had more 
concentration going on than I thought he did. I don't know, is it? Is that where you're going to chicken out? No, that's about where a lot of people get to. Bit of fun and games, bit of entertainment. Just a bit flexed up. This is where that front locker comes in. Try again from there, because you've got you've got a bit better ground. Stop there, stop. Yeah, yeah, if you're going to go back any more, right hand down, so you can keep the car pointing the correct way down the hill. If you go back any more, right hand down. At the moment, you've got a slight left hand down. So, I think Brendan was very wise to carefully back it down the hill. The problem here is where you come around this bend. One of the biggest problems I see is when people only make it to here, because typically... This is that slippery clay part from where, I don't know if you can see that car on the right park at the bottom, from there to about here. It's not that wet at the moment, but it's wet enough to be a bit slippery. Brennan was on 20 PSI. He could have gone lower, but we weren't desperate to get up here. Um, today, I only got approximately halfway along that section where I said, you know what, you know, just not required, you know. We could do it if we had to, but we've got one vehicle with us that doesn't have a lift. So you've got to know when to give it up, and that's how we roll. Uh, we don't need to go up here. It's about fun, not wrecking vehicles. But I just wanted to show you the track a little bit. So coming up there, if it was drier, we could have stayed up out of the ruts, driving up on our right or looking at it at the moment on our left. And by hugging that bend around the right there, there's a pretty flat line to drive along the right there. And that puts the left wheel not too much over this rough stuff, but a little bit. Depends. You need to vary your line as you come around the bend here. That's quite a large rock step just there in the middle of the picture. Um, it's a bit slippery to about here, but once you get past, once you get past here, there's a few rocks to climb up, but the traction's actually fairly good. I'm walking up at no problems at all. Um, over here, you can see it's a lot. You know, it's not. It's not sort of. You know, it's not wet up here. It's a lot drier. So the traction up here is pretty good, and you just need to cross over to avoid this rock step here you could go either side of it but I think it gets a bit mushy over here on the left again up over all this and the last of it's that rough section up in the top of the picture there and then it all smooths out after that all right guys a bit of action in the Hilux it's running the BFG KO2s 26570 dual locked Bit of wheel spin already, that's what you get. It is a slippery track, especially along that section there. This is where he's starting to think maybe I shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> Too much air pressure, what pressure is he on you reckon? 18, really? Wow, that's 18. Put the locker on. Front locker's not on, which means he might not have the rear one on yet. He's saving it for later. Oh 
Are the lockers on? It's not. You can see is the front spin. Not, the front's it, definitely not on. Is it broken or is he just not going to work? You had trouble, you only just made it up, did you? <laughs> the tires are a bit too much here and 18. Yeah. That's it looks like 35, doesn't it? Yeah, it yeah. Uh, now there's a oh no, I was gonna say now there's a locker, no, it still hasn't got a locker on. No, need that locker. Okay, now we got the locker happening. That's right, he needs a K on bash plate anyway, so it doesn't matter. Maybe two six five sixty fives. I'm thinking. So, fishing head head back up to the arms. So the, uh, it's got a front and rear locker, the front lock is working and the rear isn't, which essentially makes it a single spinner at the back, pretty well useless. So this is like a front wheel drive vehicle. And of course without the flex in the back because of the leaf springs, it's going to struggle. It needs that rear locker working as well. ARB, you've done it again. You could let a lot more air out of the tyres. They're not high, but you could let them down more because all the weight's on the back. The front to get traction, all the weight's off it, so you need to get... Jeep's going to do it again for him. He loved it. He's going to do it again. In the V8 with the big tyres. Pretty light car too. Oh, spinning them up there now. With a locker helps. And I think that concludes our fun on this track for today.